All right, let's go through your laser touchpad. In this video, we are not gonna talk about anything clinical, just showing you how your laser is gonna operate from a touchpad perspective. Whenever we turn the laser on, it's gonna ask us to go through and put a pin code in. There is a standard pin code for your laser that can be found in your user manual. You can change that later, I'll show you how. I'm gonna put in my pin code, which is the quad zeros and it takes me to the home screen. So you'll see my username in the top left corner, and then up here, this bar represents battery life. So currently, we're at about a quarter battery life for the laser. So let's go straight down to the setting menu first. Bottom right-hand corner, click the gear. We'll go through a few of these. First would be this finger, which is going to ask us how we want to activate the device. Currently it's set up for finger switch. We can switch it to Bluetooth foot pedal by doing that. And then setup is here. This is not a standard accessory that comes with the laser. It can be added separately. So we'll keep it at finger switch, okay. Next, we have this button, which will take us to some of the device settings in terms of screen brightness, and then the sound it makes when you touch the screen. Currently, I have it turned off, but you can see if I start to turn it up, now when I press buttons, it will beep every single time. I'm gonna turn that off for the video. Warning sound is the sound the laser will make when the device is being fired. This can be set to low, but it cannot be completely turned off. So, okay. All of these different settings will be ones you will activate if you are doing any maintenance of the laser, working with our technical support team. So I won't go over them at this time. But you can also change the date and time of your laser, as well as add users, which I'll show you how to do now. So we would click here, and let's remove this user so we can add a new one. So we have the ability to have six users on this laser. So to add the sixth, we would click plus, username, call it whatever we would like, demo, okay. Pin code, everyone has their own specific pin code. No two users can use the same pin code. So let's use one, two, three, four, okay. That means no one else is using it. I'll click okay again. Let's go now to the home screen. So currently we're under my user profile. If we wanna to change to the one we just set up, we would click the bottom left-hand corner, enter that pin code, and now we are under the demo profile. So let's go back to our original profile. On the home screen, you'll see six procedures. These are my six favorites that have been added to the home screen. If I click the tooth in the middle, this will take me to a list of procedures that were pre-programmed into the laser. Surgery has our soft tissue surgery. We can go to endo for pulpotomy or a root canal. Miscellaneous abscess ulcers. If we want a low level light therapy, and then my applications, where I can create different applications. And by doing that, I would click the plus button at the bottom right-hand corner. I can title it whatever I'd like. Once again, I'll just use demo. And then I can choose which wavelength I would like to use, 445, 660, frequency, wattage, Everything can be changed. Currently it's on 970. Click this button and now it's added under demo. We can also delete it if we'd like. So back on the home screen, anything in black was pre-programmed. Anything in red are ones that I actually created. So notice healing is the 660. Surgery. 445, succular debridement uses the 970. All can be programmed or selected. 
when we want to pick a procedure for a patient, we would click on it. And then to activate, click this yellow triangle in the middle. It will ask us to put our goggles on. Click OK. A few things to notice here. This green bar down at the bottom of the screen says laser ready, as well as lights at the top of the actual laser itself. So when we actually fire the laser, notice a few things. The lights on the top of the laser actually start to flash orange, letting everyone know that the laser is being fired and is active. As well as the laser ready switches to yellow with the yellow triangle. You will also hear the beeping. When the procedure is complete, we will hit stop down at the bottom. On the screen, it will show us laser stop. Okay. And now we will have to put our pin code back in to get to the screen. Now we're at the home screen for the laser.